Oh, hi, didn't see you there. What if I told you that speed, which has magnitude, and velocity, which has magnitude and direction, are not the same thing? Well, this is all explained through physics. Bill Nye the Science Guy. Bill Nye the Science Guy. Bill, 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 No, stop, Bill. cut. That's my old intro from the 90s. I have a much cooler one now. Hit it! The eyes of night. Just kidding, no one actually likes that intro. Bill, Bill, Bill. Bill Nye the Science Guy. What you just saw in that clip of four might have just looked like a regular old Damn it, Joseph! What you just saw in the clip before might have just looked like an ordinary chase scene, but what you're actually witnessing is speed, velocity, and uniform motion firsthand. Let me elaborate. As you can see here on this position time graph, line A represents the car shown in the clip before, and line B represents the man desperately running from the car. Now, this car maintains a constant velocity of one meter a second north. If you can see here, at one second, the car is at two meters. At two seconds, the car is at four meters. You can tell the car's velocity is uniform as he maintains this constant speed throughout the entire chase scene. But the man, on the other hand, is not uniform because he changes speeds and directions the entire time. But besides the fact, neither the car nor the man would have the original units of meters to seconds. I mean, have you ever heard of a car that travels 15.6 meters per second? Of course not. And if you want to find the original kilometers to hours and how to calculate it and to put it into meters per second, just follow these formulas. I swear to God, Joseph, if you drop these pics... Oh, uh, if you want to calculate velocity, it's a simple equation of displacement divided by time. And similarly, with speed, it's a distance divided by time. But keep in mind that speed and velocity are not the same thing, as velocity has direction. Isn't that right? I know you're right, because you're a genius. Aw, thank you. Has anyone told you that you have great hair? Oh, stop it, you. Anyways, uh, do you want to wrap this up? Okay, sure. Uh, thanks for watching this week's episode of Bill Nye the Science Guy. I uh, really hope you learned something regarding speed and velocity. Uh, until I see you next, this is Superior Bill Nye Clone signing out. You serious, bro? You wanna fight?